The president left the White House to the cheers of staff and with a familiar clench of his fist. This will not be his last, but it may be his best chance to change the direction of this election race and secure another four years in Washington. Under darker skies, Joe Biden departed Delaware a short time ago, facing his own challenges at 77, needing to prove that he's mentally agile and can stand his ground. As they flew into Ohio, we visited the distressed industrial city of Akron, just 40 miles south of the debate stage. And I can't wait for this debate. Union officials here say they were promised much by Trump, the candidate. Yeah. Well, he made promises everywhere he went when he was running. He made promises to the coal people. The coal mines were coming back. He, the car plants were coming back when he was talking to the people in Michigan and Ohio. Wherever he went, those jobs were all going to come back. None of that's happened. David Prentice says Akron is still decaying. He promised that he would put billions and billions of dollars in infrastructure, uh, and we've got failing bridges all over the United States. We've got roads. You drive right here in Akron, and, and you almost need a Humvee to get through town. Four more years of this, and I don't think the republic can survive. And Others worry about what Trump unleashed in a second term might mean. People think the first four years were, were bad. We'll wait and see what the next four years bring. Good evening. The television and radio stations of the United States and their... The true impact of a presidential debate is itself a debate. Many point to the very first TV clash between JFK and Richard Nixon and say it allowed a telegenic and youthful Kennedy to win in 1960. If we do well here, if we meet our obligations, if we're moving ahead, then I think freedom will be secure around the world. If we fail, then freedom fails. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I want, I, could I just... Pause? Certainly gaffes have played a part, most famously this comment by President Ford in 1976. There is no Soviet domination of Eastern Europe, and there never will be under a Ford administration. Such a nasty woman. Fund. Excuse me, my turn. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Nobody. But debating Donald Trump is another matter altogether. He'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet, States. No puppet. And it's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's pretty as he repeatedly showed, he will always counterattack, and normal rules of debate etiquette do not apply. He's unfit, and he proves it every no. time. You he are talks. the one that's unfit. The stage is ready. The candidates have just arrived here in Cleveland, and America will be watching tonight.